before you is a surface rendering of a real extracted sample of Berea sandstone measuring two and a half millimeters in width and height and three quarters of a millimeter or 750 microns in depth. The image was obtained using synchrotron X-ray tomography at a resolution of 2.5 microns per voxel. At this resolution, we can clearly see the complexity of the pore space within the rock itself. For this animation, we reduce the domain of our simulation to a smaller cubic section of the rock sample, with each edge measuring 750 microns across. As we slice into the rock, we can see all the channels available for fluid transport within. A finite element fluid dynamic model was used to calculate a velocity field of the flow throughout the pore space. We use illuminated streamlines to depict the continuous flow paths. The streamlines are colored according to the magnitude of the velocity field, with the slower streams near the blue end of the spectrum and the faster streams near the red end. The porous material provides only a few complete pathways for transport in this domain. Therefore, the fluid tends to concentrate its flow along these pathways. We will select one such pathway for a closer look. The blue spheres represent tracer particles injected into the rock during a flow experiment. We can see how these particles ride along the streamlines with accurate speeds dictated by the calculated velocity field. Each particle rides its own unique path through the sandstone. Notice how the observer is traveling as one of these particles, following a single streamline and moving according to the velocity field. Through the microscopic eyes of this simulation, we can look inside real geologic materials and explore the world in an entirely new resolution.